Hi, everyone, and welcome to our NGCX webinar sponsored by First Alliance, Customer Service Reimagined, Boosting Contact Rates and Satisfaction Through Branded Calling. Thank you for joining us. Before we begin, I'd like to bring your attention to the console in front of you. All of the windows you see can be repositioned, maximized, or minimized to fit the device you're using to connect with us today. If you accidentally minimize a window, don't worry. Simply pop into the toolbar at the bottom of the screen to bring it back up. On that same toolbar, you'll find the resource center. In that center, you can access documents related to this webinar content, so feel free to download anything that you see in there. Now let's introduce our speaker for today. It's my pleasure to introduce Matt Redliff, VP of Sales Enablement at First Alliance. We're going to try and save some time at the end of today's discussion for some audience Q&A, so please feel free to submit questions for our speaker at any time during our presentation using the Q&A portal at the toolbar at the bottom of your screen. Now I'll pass things along to you, Matt. Thank you. Thank you so much, Morgan, and thank you to NGCX for having me and allowing First Orion the opportunity to speak today. Appreciate the time uh, everyone else on the call is giving us. Hopefully I can take you through what we have to talk about today, and it's interesting and relevant to your business. Uh, I want to address one quick item. I believe this was promoted uh, for Craig Dunn to be the speaker today. I apologize Craig could not be with us, but the good news is you've got me instead. I'd like to think that's an upgrade. Uh, we want to talk about uh, customer experience uh, as it relates to a phone call. Uh, we, we consider the phone call to be a part of the omni-channel experience for a customer. It's a channel that has been declining in priority and also declining in effectiveness over the last 10 years. I think everyone on this call that makes business calls would, would agree We've created a technology that we believe drastically improves the effectiveness of a phone call and the amount of meaningful conversations you can have with your customer. Everyone walking around on the planet today has some type of device in their pocket. Typically, it's a smartphone, but this service also applies to certain landlines around the world. I want to start by talking a little bit about our company and where we came from. We're built on top of data and technology with a very large focus on privacy, security, and compliance. We work very often with the FCC and the FTC on various issues facing the communications industry and consumers today. And we work with some of the largest telcos around the world. We started a number of years ago providing what we call consumer protection services uh, on their mobile devices, preventing unwanted and illegitimate phone calls from getting through to consumers, giving them control of their phone. After doing that for a number of years and doing it very well, we decided that we, we could also help legitimate businesses get their legitimate phone calls answered because the reality is most consumers these days are so used to being harassed by unwanted robocalls, spam calls, and scam calls that they don't really trust their phone anymore. In fact, we've done a number of surveys where consumers tell us repeatedly, and this is over a number of years, that 87% of people will not or do, do not answer the phone from an unknown number. The technology that we're here to talk about allows you, the business, to better identify yourself prior to the consumer answering the phone call. This creates more of a relationship of trust and confidence before the consumer ever even answers the phone. So let's jump into uh, this slide right here. So it, it, it is true that 87% of people don't answer the phone from unknown numbers, but based on our research and experience, we know that consumers, at least in certain scenarios, prefer a voice phone call. This is why we call this part of the omni-channel customer experience. If I talk specifically about airlines, consumers told us repeatedly that 64% of the time when an airline is attempting to contact them, they would prefer that contact method be a voice phone call. The problem is when the airlines are calling those consumers today, it just shows up as an unidentifiable phone number and they don't always answer those calls. 
The same is true for financial services. There are a number of reasons a bank or other financial institution might need to contact an existing customer or a prospect, might have to do with a mortgage loan application, a past due payment, or some type of alert related to fraud on that customer's account. You can also think about appointment-related services. A lot of times we apply this to the logistics industry where someone's trying to deliver a package. Maybe it's food. Maybe it's a refrigerator. More than half the time, consumers have said that they want a phone call when there is an issue related to that delivery or even just a question. We also know they prefer a phone call when the the issue has to do with some type of a long conversation, a more complex discussion, or when they're in a quiet or relaxed place. In fact, we, we know based on our research that the most missed critical calls in the U.S. generally relate to healthcare, finance, and work-related calls. In the seven-day study that we did, 75% of consumers surveyed said that they missed an important phone call. That's, that's pretty dramatic when you, when you go back to the 87% of people not answering the phone. You as the business today are spending lots of time, money, and resource to ensure that you have someone available to speak to a customer on the phone, but the challenge is getting those customers on the phone. So moving on here, this is the first example you're going to see of, of what we bring to the table with our solution. We refer to this as branded calling. We're all very familiar with the experience on the left. Every, every person on this call has gotten a call that looks like this. It's just a phone number. I don't know anything about who's calling me or why, and that phone number means nothing. With our solutions that we call inform and engage, the enterprise has the ability to identify themselves on the outbound call to the consumer in this case, you can see that we've got a fictitious company known as Good Invest. There are a couple of examples here that I'll get into in a little more detail after this short video that I want to play that describes the solution very well. So I'll pause and let that video play. Please make sure your sound is on and you'll hear the voiceover. The future of business calling is here with Engage. Let's face it, reaching customers can be difficult when they don't know who's calling. So would you rather send them a call that looks like this or like this? With Engage, customers see exactly who's calling, along with a short why message so they can confidently answer the call. Banks can call customers to verify recent transactions. Airlines can reach travelers with updates to their itineraries. Delivery services can alert eager shoppers of arriving packages. Call centers can reduce wait times and complete more calls with highly efficient callbacks. Engage is enhanced caller information that helps consumers discern which calls to answer. When customers see graphic rich displays with your logo and information, it makes it easy to connect with them at exactly the right time, bringing your answer rates up and building lasting trust with your customers. Want to talk more about the future of business calling? Get the facts and request a demo at firstorion.com engage. All right, so Morgan tells me that video went through okay. Hopefully it worked well for everyone. I think that video does a, a really good job of painting the picture for some real-world scenarios and describing exactly what it is that we do. So I'm going to hang out on this slide for just a minute and try to describe a couple of different things here. So again, on the left side, without our technology, that might be the experience that a consumer sees when an enterprise is trying to contact them. With Inform, which is the example in the middle there, again, we have another fictitious company known as Goodsurance. Imagine them as an insurance company. And you can see that there's a recognizable calling name here, Goodsurance. Now let's focus on just that field for a minute. That's a 15-character programmable name that the enterprise can control through our platform. And Often, this gets very confuse, confusing when you don't understand how caller ID works. Most people say, isn't that just caller ID or caller name? And the answer is no. In fact, in, in the mobile space, around 5% of consumers have access or have subscribed to 
some type of caller ID or caller name service. So most often they have no idea who is calling them. We have the ability with Inform to ensure that the display of the name shows up on roughly 100 million devices in North America. That 15 character name is controlled by the brand programmatically and can be updated on the fly. In this case, the consumer would know that it's Goodsurance calling them. Maybe they just filled out an application for a lead uh, where the, the brand is trying to call them and, and complete their insurance application, or maybe Goodsurance is calling an existing customer that they already have today. All in all, this creates a better customer experience. On the right-hand side, you'll see an example of Engage. This is our product that pro provides a fully branded calling experience. Again, this is controlled by the brand or the enterprise. And I wanna walk you through some of the details that are represented on the screen. Again, you have the 15 character name, Goodsurance. And right below that, you have a custom text field that you can use. Again, all controlled programmatically. In the example here, Goodsurance is calling this customer about their policy. They might also choose to call them about a new product or a new service that they're offering or a question about their application or maybe a past due payment or expired credit card on their policy. You could update that text field and notify the consumer why you are calling before they ever answer the phone. The rest of this is essentially an image you can see the background image with the family in the background and the Goodsurance logo over the top. This creates that branded, personalized experience for the consumer. And just to be clear, even though you have full control of this, very little IT integration is needed. We've got everything addressed from a privacy and compliance perspective. Obviously, we're not gonna get into the weeds of that on this call today, but we'd love to talk with you more about it later. Moving on to the next slide. These are the industries that we've either surveyed or worked with uh, using this technology, and I'm gonna highlight just a few of them. Let's talk first about healthcare. There's obviously a, a lot of scenarios where a healthcare entity might need to contact their customer or a patient about an issue. We've actually been in the press recently along with COVID-19, where we've offered to support a lot of the local hospitals and government agencies that are dealing with test results related to COVID and contact tracing. In some of these instances, the healthcare provider, whoever that might have been, was seeing a pretty abysmal answer rate below 20%, which means they were having to spend more time calling the same people to try and track them down or notify them of their results. And obviously this pandemic is an unprecedented thing in, in, in the world. And the more time they can spend calling the right people and not calling the same people, the more effective this whole program is. I've already talked a little bit about airlines, but think about the customer experience, the customer who's frustrated waiting at the gate and their flight gets canceled. We've all been a part of that scenario, those of us, those of us that travel a lot, where everybody that's on that flight rushes to the counter and tries to get on the next available flight to get the next available seat so that they're not waiting in the airport for hours and hours. Well, often if you're a subscriber to those loyalty programs or, or some type of credit card, the airline might proactively call you so that you're not a part of that line at the airport and, and take care of the issue for you, creating a better customer experience. The problem is when those airlines make those phone calls, the customer's frustrated and they don't always think to look at their phone right away. But if it lights up and says, hey, this is your airline calling you about your canceled flight, we've got you on the next flight, you're gonna answer that call because of the situation that you're in. Obviously, you, those of you in the various industries on the phone call here uh, can apply some of the same thinking to what you do but take, take pharmacy or, or pharmaceutical uh, notifications. If you're calling about a prescription that needs to get filled, or maybe it's gonna be delayed, or there's a problem with your insurance, again, you need those calls answered so that consumer is in the know about what's going on. We've seen a lot of, of very positive outcomes with all these industries. To say it plainly, every industry that we've talked to, presented this to, 
or that has actually used it has seen extreme value in, in this technology. Moving on to the next slide, you'll see us talk here about answer rates um, very specifically. And to be clear, we know that the only relevant business metric is not answer rates. There are many more like conversion rate, first call resolution, average handle time, general customer satisfaction. But one thing that we can measure is the answer rate of the phone calls that we enable with Informer Engage. And so in many examples where brands have turned this technology on, we've seen answer rates increase by over 200%. Apply that to any outbound call that your business is making today and just think about what the business impact would be if you were able to get that many more customers on the phone. In other scenarios where answer rate may not be the driving metric, maybe it's conversion and your goal is to have more of the right conversations instead of getting more customers on the phone. Your answer rate is not as relevant as a metric as those customers that actually convert to buy whatever it is that you're selling or resolve whatever issue you're trying to resolve. So the, the business metrics vary wildly based on the use case. Uh, one thing I wanna mention that I, I personally find interesting here is we've had an unforeseen impact on average handle time. I mentioned earlier on the call that that we provide more of a trust and transparency in the calling process. So when your phone lights up with like what the example that you see on your screen with Good Bank, let's say I'm a customer of Good Bank. Well, I, I've learned to trust this technology. So when I answer the phone, I have a high level of confidence that I'm talking to Good Bank and they're calling me about my transaction in this scenario. So when I get on the phone, the person making the call and the person receiving the call can spend a little bit less time trying to validate who they are, the reason for the call, and whether or not they can even trust each other. So we've seen an impact to average handle time. And in some call centers or some businesses, that's a very, very important metric. And others, you see first call resolution. If you call the customer the first time and they answer and you resolve whatever issue they may be experiencing, then that's going to result in a higher level of first call resolution, which is a big driver to customer satisfaction. Think about other scenarios where the customer has requested a callback and then they get frustrated because they don't think you ever called, called them back because you called from a number they didn't recognize. I'll give you a very specific example with, with that in mind. We work very closely with a tier one wireless carrier in the U.S. who places a a lot of emphasis on customer support and the customer experience. They had a particular program where if you're a customer and you call in and the queue is backed up, they can request a callback. Now, most of the time, those callbacks were occurring within 60 minutes. So a customer calls in, the, the wait's too long, they don't wanna wait in the queue, this customer's calling them back in 60 minutes. The answer rate was less than 30% prior to turning this technology on. They've been using it for over a year now, and their answer rates have sustained above 70% it, from the day they turned it on. That's an immediate impact to their business. And more engaged customers, more engaged support agents leads to a better all-around process for everyone involved. So now I'll, I'll jump on to a very specific case study that we've done with a customer that we have overseas. And this one's really interesting. You, you might ask, why are you talking about a car wash service? Well, Kino, our customer in Dubai, is a car wash app or a car wash service. Um, you can compare it to the ride sharing services that everyone here is, is familiar with uh, around the world. And if you didn't know that this is another side note for those that, that don't spend a lot of time in Dubai, it's actually a requirement over there that you get your car washed uh, ever so often. I don't know the specifics, but that's why a company like Kino is so successful over there. We started working with Kino a while ago, and the way this service works is you go into the app, you wait for the, you, you schedule a service, you wait for the driver to call you to say, hey, I'm here to wash your car and they unlock their vehicle. 
Now, 42% of these calls were going unanswered on average. When Keno decided to turn this service on and integrate, their answer rates almost immediately approved to 92%. Again, that is a result that you, you, it's almost hard to believe the impact that we had on their business. One thing to think about here that I also find really interesting that's not as obvious in the answer rate metric is while more people were answering the phone and that was a good thing, there was a there was a, a side piece to this where some consumers weren't answering the phone, but they knew why Kino was calling. So instead of wasting time talking on the phone, they would simply lean out the window or stick their head out the door and unlock their car and say thank you. So an answer rate improvement to 92% is extremely effective, but it goes beyond that. We just can't measure it in the data that we have. This is just information this client has, has shared with us. And you can see the quote from their co-founder down there, that the most surprising result was the increase in answer rates, which improved, they call their, their employees, the people that wash the cars, ninjas, their ninja's morale increased because they were spending less time chasing down clients and more time washing cars, which meant more money for the driver, faster washes, and happier customers. That is actually going to do it for the presentation that we have today. I have allowed quite a bit of time here for questions. We, we often get quite a few at the end of these. Um, but I, I wanted to present this as an elegant and easy to, to work with solution. So hopefully I've done that today. I hope that it's resonated with at least a few of you. You can see here that you can find out more information at firstorion.com, or you can contact me directly. I've made my email address really easy for the audience here, mr at firstorion.com. And with that, Morgan, we'll go ahead and open it up to questions. Absolutely. Um, we have a couple of questions coming in from the audience, and one of our questions is, does this technology work on both Android and iOS? That's correct. It does. So the, the Inform technology works uh, in line with the carrier network, and it works on both Android and iOS and, frankly, other devices as well. And Engage also works on Android and iOS, although the experience is slightly different based on each operating system. Really good to know. Um, the next question that we have is, how difficult is it to get started using this? Well, as I mentioned, uh, it's, it's very easy to integrate. Very little uh, programming or IT integration is needed. There's, there's three ways. For a lot of these, we handle a lot of the onboarding and, and, and program management ourselves, so there's really nothing for the customer to do other than provide us with a, a little bit of information that we, that we have standardized. We also have a customer portal where customers can log in and manage their own programs. Programs are what we refer to as the combination of the phone number and the display name or the content that the, the enterprise wants displayed when they make phone calls. And we also have an extensive suite of APIs. So if you have your own platform, whether that's a content management platform or some type of calling platform that you use, our APIs allow direct integration with those services. Great. Thanks, Matt. Um, and we have another excellent question here. Um, this one is, people are adjusting their mobile settings to silent from calls that are not in their contact list. How does this help? That's a great question, actually. So a lot of times those settings on phones are controlled by whether or not, as you asked in the question, that particular phone number exists as a contact on the device. With inform, we don't necessarily help because that's still not a contact in the device, although the call is branded and it remains behind on the device. That's one key component that I didn't cover here in the presentation. So in the call log, the same name that you see on the screen is the same name that exists in the call log. So even though that call might get sent to voicemail or blocked, they still know it's you. And in a lot of cases, we've seen a higher callback rate from the consumer back to the enterprise. With Engage, 
we actually get around this because we are essentially creating a virtual contact on the device, which allows for that unknown caller function to be ignored and the brand the brand's call goes through. Really good to know. Thank you. Um, and the next question is, is sort of a follow-up to the previous question, which is with many third-party apps, customers are entering their phone numbers, and now when we call or when that uh, company calls, it comes up as spam on Android-based phones. Can this help? Uh, to an extent, it can. We obviously uh, do not control the various calling platforms out there that are not our own anyway. Um, but first, Orion, in particular, we have a service known as Call Transparency, where you, the enterprise, can go register your phone numbers, which would avoid any of that negative tagging, whether it's spam or scam. You're registering as a legitimate business. And when you use this service, it's coming over the top of that, specifically with First Orion. Now, there are other analytics engines out there that we do not control, and those those particular engines might still flag these calls according to their business rules that they have on their side. But that's a great question. Uh, I'd actually love to talk with uh, the person who asked that a little in a little more detail offline. Yeah, we can definitely make that happen. Um, and it looks like that's it for our questions for today. Um, Matt, I just wanted to see if you have any final takeaways from today's talk. Uh, no, it, I think I covered most of it, and, and thank you for the, the questions there. Uh, those were very good. Hopefully, this made sense and resonated with you. Again, I'll just encourage all of you to, to go to firstorion.com or contact me directly, and we can see how this might apply to your business. Thank you so much for the time. Thanks so much, Matt. And I want to thank our audience for joining us today. Um, if you submitted a question that we didn't get to, we'll follow up with you by email shortly. And you can also look forward to receiving this presentation directly to your email um, inbox within 24 hours. So keep a lookout for that. And um, finally, once again, thank you and a huge round of applause to you, Matt. Um, fantastic job. Thank you. And also, no problem. And also, I want to make sure you all know to remember to leave feedback and suggestions for us in the survey at the close of this webinar. Uh, we'll be sure to use that feedback to guide us in providing upcoming webinar topics so that we can keep giving you exactly what you want. So with that, I'll bring this program to an end. And on behalf of First Orion, NGCX, and the WBR Insights team, we thank you for your time. Have a great day.